Welcome back. Good morning, San Diego. It's 726. Thanks for spending some of your morning with us. Six months ago, they began their journey to become deputies with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. Tomorrow, these men and women will graduate from the 128th Regional Law Enforcement Academy. Joining us is one of those recruits, Mr. Brian Eyestone. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, sir. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, on the eve of this big day, tell us a little bit about yourself and the decision to get into, to, to try this, I guess, is uh, my query to you. Uh, yes, sir, yeah. I spent 20 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, spent a lot of time overseas. I retired, and then I taught as an instructor for the State Department. After that, I was in overseas contracting, providing security for U.S. government personnel, spending a lot of time gone and away from my family. I wanted to be back in the community and be around uh, San Diegans again, so I decided to join the Sheriff's Department. So are, are you older than the average recruit or younger? Uh, probably a little bit older, sir. <laughs> so what's that like? Do I, I mean, do you feel like you have more to prove? Uh, not necessarily more to prove, sir. I We both have, uh, everybody has a lot to give each other. I learned a lot from my fellow recruits. Hopefully they learned a lot from myself and some of my experiences. So, but as a former Marine, you, you've been pushed to the limit before was was it more of a physical challenge for you or more of a mental challenge uh a little bit of both uh definitely a lot of mental challenge there's a lot of uh subjects that we have to cover and you know the physical side of things definitely is demanding but you know being prepared beforehand by the sheriff's department before actually attending the academy it helped a lot so what what Give us some highlights. What were the things that you thought were going to be tougher that were actually easier? What were some of the things you thought you were going to breeze through that proved to be a bigger challenge than you initially anticipated? Uh, I don't think I, I expected to breeze through any of it. It was, it was challenging, but very rewarding throughout. I really enjoyed a lot of the classes that we had, emphasizing uh, protecting people's rights, uh, cultural sensitivity, and just de-escalation, things that you've seen in the in the news lately that San Diego has been teaching their law enforcement for years. Well, it's gonna be a big day tomorrow. I, I, I can't imagine the sense of accomplishment you must feel. You, you gotta be feeling good about yourself, huh? Uh, yes, sir, I, I feel proud and I'm eager to get out there and prove myself to the community and the Sheriff's Department. Well, you, you're a great example of, I mean, listen, you're, you're much younger than I am, and I, I'm in much better shape, so I could never do what you did. But still, you're an example of, hey, it's, you're never too old to uh, have a, a second or third act, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I encourage anybody that, you know, has a desire to give back to their community to visit joinsdsheriff.net and find out about joining the Sheriff's Department. And I hope we'll put this up on our social media and make sure that we get the word out. In the meantime, thank you for sharing your story. And on behalf of everyone here at KUSI, a hearty congratulations to you, Brian. I, I know there's still a lot of road to hoe, but boy, you cleared the big first obstacle, have you not? Yes, sir. And I look forward to proving myself to the community and the Sheriff's Department in the future. All right. We wish you a safe uh, a career as a deputy. Thank you very much, sir.